Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to Ultimate Apple Crypto Ask First. This week, slightly different challenge. Um, basically, each of uh, the participants, which is myself, every day is different. Guy Gaming and Bill 17. Um, we had a choice. Uh, we were playing as the Russians in 1925. We could build three battleships or three battle cruisers. And our enemy is the Chinese. Two battleships, three battle cruisers, and three heavy cruisers. Now, um, I'm just going to start and pause. Um, there is a lot of um, potential... Uh, there's a lot of scoring going on and things like that, which I will explain at the end. I will keep track on a piece of paper as we go. Um, but I will explain my uh, design choice when we're heading the wrong way. We need to head in. All ships come about. Uh, because my ships <laughs> are um, designed on the philosophy that Russian ships do not sink. Uh, and uh, my secret weapon is a 23 inch belt. <laughs> 23 inch belt extended and 23 inches on the turrets. Plus, every tech I could possibly manage to reduce chance of me exploding apart from torpedo protection so oh crap i'm firing the torpedo off 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 don't don't be that aggressive save those save those you're not gonna hit i know what i'm like with torps okay what do we got here enemy heavy cruiser okay light on torpedo launchers i like this very much yeah, that's good. This is a battle cruiser, I think, with maybe 14 or 15 inch guns. And this must be the battleship with, ooh, triple 15s? Got a lot of firepower that they've got going on. But it doesn't matter, because 23 inches of belt armor, if I can, correct is virtually impervious to attack um, in this particular scenario. So these are Washington Naval Treaty compliant ships. They have a maximum displacement of 35,000 tons, which I've done off, and I cannot use anything larger than a 16-inch gun. And I've got just gone for 12s. Save on weight and cost. Um, However, I did have a look at the stats for the 16-inch gun, and I spent some time kind of fiddling, which is why I have not recorded the uh, the build. I will show you that show that at the end instead. Um, and <laughs> it's it's an interesting one because like, there's a lot of ways you could approach it, and I just thought, now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for something a little bit different. I'm gonna go for Ships that can just take a beating. An absolute beating. Because those limitations, you can't really build super fast, super killy, really nasty, fast battleship. I, I just don't see it. But what you can build is a floating brick. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of what I've got. So, but the, they do have the vulnerabilities. One is Forps. Uh, enemy torps, and the other is uh, deck fire, plunging fire going through the deck. So, my plan is generally to close in, get uh, nice and close to the enemy. Ooh, hello. Do have torps, sneaky sausages. If one of you is able to fire torps, you need to die. Probably the heavy cruiser. Maybe an underwater launcher? Don't see any on the deck. Oh, hello. We actually got some hits in with a, with that salvo that was randomly fired at the start of the battle. Okay, very nice. Um, so yeah, there is a scoring system in place. Uh, so I get 20 points if I sink an enemy battleship. I get, I believe it's... Uh, 15 for a battle cruiser and 5 for a heavy cruiser. So there's 100 points sitting here. 
and there's an additional way I can get points, which I will explain right at the end. Um, you'll maybe uh, understand a bit more the thinking by the ship. But I didn't want to show off the me building it. it <laughs> um, so it's really like uh, sitting down with pen and paper and a because uh, to make this work, I really had to get it right. I couldn't just guess. So I really hope it works. <laughs> I'm just confident that it will. Unless they've brought 17 inch guns, and then I'm screwed. <laughs> 17 or 18, and if they have a load, bunch more of those uh, underwater torp launchers, I am very, very dead. Right. Not the heavy cruisers. Oh, it's the back cruisers that have torps. How many? Uh, one each side. Okay. Battleships don't have any. So, um, the battlecruisers are definitely the uh, number one target, unfortunately. They're the hardest ones to blinking well hit. Never mind. Right. Continue sailing straight in. Increase our ricochet chart. And if you have a look, so, the Volia here has taken 220 odd hits and 183 of them were blocked <laughs> just pure blocked oh hit on one of the battle cruisers over there yeah the heavy cruisers are kind of doing donuts eight inch really? thought they'd be nines okay eight inch fair enough that's an example. Look, eight inch go through almost twenty inches of belt. Um, I, however, have twenty-three inches of belt, armor. <laughs> and that's before it, you add on the hundred and ten percent extra. Now, do I? I, do, I really don't want to waste corpse on those. Heavy. They're really not a threat, so we'll mop them up later. I think. Right. Yeah. No, 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 I shall be good. I will not submit to uh, bloodlust or <laughs> generally um, just. Okay, we're going to send the invincible over here uh, against the Ming. The Volio, which is doing a very good job absorbing all the firepower straight up the uh, ooh, crud. Oh. Don't beat those at me, it's so rude. That was my plan. I'm gonna eat one. Definitely, yep. Damn. 350 damage. Wonderful. Ooh, you, however, friend, are in fire when ready Can you start lining up a shot said fire when ready surely you have a solution flip and fire the things right and hard to port see if we can't shoot a another set now they will see those, um, but they are fast, 60 knot torps, um, nothing to sniff at. Right, you may fire when ready on the Meng Wu. Oh, hello. What? Ow. What? I wasn't even shooting it. That ship was I? Looks like she took a, a hit there. What happened? Oh, she got hooded. <laughs> okay, yep, one 12 inch shell went right through the mid belt and it exploded a magazine in there somewhere. Or possibly the fuel storage, given where she hit. She was hit um, right here because she was turning. So she, she was at, like, she was showing this bit of the hull, which is normally below the water. And, um, yeah, 
exploded and is gone. Whole ship below decks on fire. Well, that's a plus. One battlecruiser down. Okay, fair enough. That was a lucky hit. That was a supremely lucky hit. Right, what the hell was going on? Uh, those torps are probably going to miss. Are you going to fire at any point? Probably not. Why? Did you already? No, you didn't. Just shoot the damn things. Must have a salute. Fine. Don't bother. Get in with the uh, invincible here. Uh, you may fire your torpedoes when you are ready. Well, oh, that's only like torpedo hits. On something. That's so much going on. Okay, torps away. And the oh, it's the battleship. So he did score some hits. Of Whoa! Okay. Plan to you. Another another ammo detonation. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, you'll notice that all the text on the Guizu's uh, <laughs> damage log is red. <laughs> She was hit by a 16-inch shell from one of her own ships. Probably the ming -ri here, which was aiming at the uh, Mikhail, Mikhail, Mikhail and uh, hit their own heavy cruiser. Spectacular. Look at that. Boom. And it's just gone. Well, I'm going to count it. It doesn't matter if it's an own goal. <laughs> Ships they don't have anymore. Right, fire again at that um, battleship if you get a chance. How's the volley you're doing? Uh, okay. Oh, sounded like we got some hits on the Ming Rui. Ming Ray. Like Stingray. Um, just keep harassing her because uh, I don't think she's going to go down. Uh, standard bulk kids with anti blood three and anti torp four. Yeah, they're pretty resistant. Torps. Yong Fu, on the other hand, has taken uh, a fair old battering and six. There's our first battleship kill. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> there is something wrong with our ships today, gentlemen. What the hell happened there? Yeah, another mid belt. That's exactly the same thing. Doing a hard turn, exposed the um, the bit of the ship here below the waterline, and uh, yeah, 12 inch shell straight through, boom, and completely destroys the ship. Whoops. Okay. I think that means that they have only one battle cruiser left, and two heavy cruisers. Yeah, one over, one's all the way over there, and the the main. Okay, fair enough. Hume, you're now targeting that. No, 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 target that. Whoa, he's firing top of those assets. Sneaky little so and so. The battleship that we'll uh, need to close in on now. Right, you torps off. You can switch off. Well, oh, Volia has fired. Oh, 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 man, oh man! Those battle cruisers are just paper thin. Ouch! Yep, twelve inch went through the extended belt. And there was another one going through the mid belt at the same time, and then must have set a fire, caught the magazine, and bang! I'm just curious, like, do they minimum minimum bulkheads? Well, there's there's part of your problem. 
Um, Cordite, two explosives, doesn't help. Reinforced bulkheads, two, though. Barbets, one. Barbet, one as well. So, yeah. Nothing, uh, yeah. There, just look at that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Now we just need to hunt down that battleship. And then, if needs be, we will uh, clear up the heavy fleet. I'm going to wait for the Volia to clear the wreck here of the captain. AI doing some very weird steering there. Now, how fast is the main? 24 knots, okay. She's slower than us. Can catch her. Fine. Right, looks like the... The Invincible here might get a shot, so we'll give her uh, permission to fire torps. Nice and close. What? 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 Okay. Uh, what happened to you? <laughs> Big belt penetration. <laughs> really? <gasps> Main gun destroyed, and then in the ship just exploded. Really? A TNT explosive as well. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Lots and lots of flash fires today. Look at that turret. Look at it. Bye bye. And bye-bye to the rest of the ship. Well, that just means those heavy cruisers, and I immediately fired torps at it. Um, not quite what I think, because that's like headed towards my own ships. Uh, but never mind. Wait for the... Yeah, well, there, there, that, that was a thing. <laughs> We're going to ram it. No, okay. Yeah, that's just a miss. That was that was never going to happen. Front of midships on the McVale. and I want everything you have targeting that cruiser. And if you get a good shot, you get a launcher, you may use them. Forty-one percent chance to hit with a twelve-inch gun, say. Oh dear. Sucks to be on this ship. Ah, uh, turning, turning. Ah, uh, no. Goodbye. We will break them. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, switch the torps back off. Don't want to run into those by accident. Okay, Volia. Just this one uh, lonely ship here. Going to be taking a boatload of fire in a minute. It's torps fleeing out all over the place, which I um, wish not done. Uh, no. Bad Admiral Blade Captains. Flat. We'll speed up time, get ourselves in a position to uh, get another attack run in, see if we can't hit them with 12 inch guns. Because you will get the odd hit. We just will. Um, I got not even an hour gone by yet. Game time. Another hit. Fire. They're dancing around each other. Actually, Volia. You're okay to fire. Go. 
and uh, it's caused the heavy cruiser to turn away exactly according to plan because that now means that she's going towards ships not away can her ships be those Putting up a brave fight. Okay, doing a uh, half point of damage to the funnel there. Right, well, yeah, you may fire again if you get a shot. Yeah. That will away. Probably cause the Yang Wei, who must have spotted those, yep, to turn again. Uh, looks like she's going to turn away. And we'll also allow the O2 again. Ready. The invincible over there is too. So just cause it to like freak out because she's like, oh no, I must avoid this torp and then turn and then she'll get it. That's the plan. Here we go. Just losing, gonna lose speed so fast now. Yeah, she's got maximum bolt. That is going to cause problems. Because now my ships are uh, up to, yeah, 33% on uh, the two lead ships. And there we go. So, that is the entire enemy fleet sunk. I have lost none of my ships. Uh, that means I get... Um, 100 points. Now, in addition, here you can see the, uh, the ship. Um, this was the armor scheme 23 inch on the belt, 23 belt extended with um, just as much stuff on the conning tower as possible, and 23 on the turrets. Went for white powder for the lower ammo detonation chance, fast 22 inch torps because uh, I suck at using the torps. Might as well use the fast ones. Uh, auto reloading, but only the advanced hydraulic turrets. I did that because the electrical ones actually do come with flash fire chance and they are expensive so didn't bother with that. Standard gels, standard ammo amounts um, turtleback armor for the increased resistance uh, anti-flood 3 all, all, the, all the protection but not, not, a, not, a, not a torpedo belt no torpedo belt <laughs> so those torps that were coming in are really scared the, the bejesus out of me. Um, engine, very, very basic. But I did go for the balanced draft boilers just because, uh, you know, they they seem to work quite well. Maximum bulk is very short range and all the rest of it there. And again, the gun setup was 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two and 2 of 12 inch, and then 6 single torpedo. That is it. And the ship cost... As I said, forty million nine hundred and fifty three thousand and thirty dollars to build. That basically rounded up forty one million, uh, which is nine million less than the fifty million budget that we had, um, which gives me a total points, I believe, of one hundred and nine. So uh, there will be a link down in the description below the video. To uh, go watch uh, Stealth History Guy Gaming at this same scenario. I'm very interested to see um, how they approached it, see if they went for battle cruisers or like for firepower over defense. Uh, I went for a very defense heavy build here. Um, really interested to see how they did. Um, and yeah, go, go watch the videos. Um, as for me, if you um, want me to do certain scenarios or certain historical ships and things like that, then Twitch is the place to go for that. Wednesdays, I stream Twitch. 
Ultra Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, so head on over. There's a link in the description for that as well. And I do have a Patreon page if you are so inclined to support me making these videos. Uh, currently, that is going towards getting new microphones, a microphone rather than just my headset, uh, but getting a microphone and things like that. Uh, and I, I greatly appreciate there's exclusive content as well. People who sign up. Um, as well, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. Leave a like. Um, tell me what I should have done differently. Because <laughs> um, it's like we've got a like a tennis court in the middle of the ship here. Um, for instance, um, how would you have done it? Uh, let me know. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.